My reputation is built on how I breed and train my dogs. I'm looking for the next Hulk, the star of the future. This dog is the star of the future. So Hulk is the most famous dog that I have, but I'm always looking for the next best thing. So I gotta keep marching forward. And I think we have something here. Toby is a wonderful dog. His father is the Hulk and uh, he's about eight months old now. Great energy, great balance. I definitely see Kobe being a star of the future, man. You can't dismiss qualities like that. He has what it takes. I'm hoping that Kobe will be the next ace, the next super dog, uh, the next, you know, demo dog for the company. You know, I started training him very late, you know, when I first started getting him into the bite work. He was very tentative. He really didn't want to tug. He didn't want to do anything. He barely would chase the ball. So we're going to, you know, take him a little further with his training today. Um, you know, we're going to push the limits a little bit and, you know, see what he, what he, what he's willing to do and, and where he needs work. Well, right now we're just going to give him a flat bite, just a regular bite, so he's ready, and then so we're gonna put some obstacles in his life. So we're gonna see if he wants to go up onto the hood, go into the back of the truck, in the passenger side. You know, we're just gonna start very base entry level stuff with the car and introducing him to car scenarios. So today I'm just putting more pressure on the dog. So I've never really added more noise, you know? So now I'm gonna actually get more noise, but right now I'm gonna go up on top of Chuck because I really wanna push his athleticism right now. I know when I see a dog that's gonna do it. He's, he's gonna do it. Oh, oh, push me over, oh, good boy. Uh, there we go. Good dog, yeah! The dog's not confident in the jump yet, right? So he doesn't actually know that he's capable of doing that. So what we're gonna do is, we'll help him get onto the truck a little bit. And you'll see, once he actually gets up and he realizes that he can get up, he'll start to come. He'll start to just come at it quickly. It's always a battle when you have a dog that's very large, you know? So he has to, he has to battle his size. Oh, ouch, oh! Oh, stayed on the bike, great! Good boy, good, oh! But you gotta understand, I mean, this is a puppy. He's eight months old. He has no recollection of his body yet. So he really can't jump. He has m not much coordination. You know, so it's just, it's early, it's early. You know, some people might be like, oh, well, my eight month dog, but this is a different type of dog. This is an XL dog. This is a dog that is the son of the biggest pit bull in the world, right? So he has a odd, you know, body style that he's dealing with right now. But once he gets through it, I'm telling you, man, you mark my words. This guy right here, that, that is a keeper. Oh, ouch, 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 oh. What happened? It's just, you know, common my mistake instead, you know, when he dropped the sleeve, instead of bringing it away from my body and, you know, throwing get rid of it, I brought it right in front of me, you know. He's excited, he's working, so he went at it and uh, missed it, got my leg a little bit. So I'm gonna be sitting in the front and I want him to come in the truck, bite the sleeve, and then from the side, you can exit him out the side. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? He ain't gonna do nothing. He ain't gonna do nothing. Oh, oh you mother <laughs> There you go. You want it? All right, so we gotta close the door. Didn't go as planned. I did not go as planned. No, no, no. Hey. Closer. Hey! Let him go. Come on. Hey! Oh, good boy. Oh, good. He's, he didn't come over. <laughs> oh, he's like, down. All right, you good. All right, I'll take that. I'll take that. So what I'm gonna do now is wanna make sure that the dog doesn't get too complacent and wanna carry the equipment everywhere all the time. It's a typical fail that a lot of sport trainers do. So it's important that the dog starts to learn early what's called double sleeving, all right? So I'm gonna start on this bite, I'm gonna let him get a bite, let him go, let him go, I'm gonna slide it off just like I was and he's getting ready to run, but instead of him running, I'm gonna show him another sleeve and hope that he just comes right off that one onto the next one. You know, and that's how you start to focus the dog to, to be man-focused and not equipment focused. 
Oh, good boy. Yep. Oh, good boy. Oh, ouch. Ouch, pull tight, pull tight, pull tight. Oh, oh, good boy. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. That was perfection. He came from that. Great solid bike, great grip. Everything good. That was all good. That was great. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna we're gonna let him see a long send, the longest send that he's ever seen. So we're probably gonna give him, you know, maybe maybe 50 yards or so, and you know, make sure that he comes in strong, he comes in high, and he hits in the right place. So to me, you know, Kobe is absolutely priceless. I have no intention of selling him. I, you know, I absolutely want to make him the superstar that you know that I know he could be. But you know, if I wanted to turn around and sell him tomorrow, um, you know, I've already been offered. 40 grand for him multiple times, so I could easily get that based upon who he is and where he comes from. Untrained. Kobe has a fully trained dog, I'd, I'd easily get 100 grand for him. We're done with the outside bite work um, for today, and, and it was it was great, man. I mean, he's he's great. I, I know a winner when I see a winner, you know, and, and he's he's a winner. Everything doesn't have to be perfect with dog training. It's a process, you know. So it's very important that you're patient, you know, and and, and you know. You let the dog learn at his pace. You know, that's the typical mistake that a lot of people make. So right now we're gonna test out Kobe with a little gunfire. Yeah, we'll use the 22 first and then we'll just bring it up in the caliber so he just adjusts to the noise, but just, just fire it off. Perfect. Reaction this time, this is perfect. This is perfect. So now that he's calm and he's acting the right way, I pet, I pet him, right? And I tell him that this is good, everything's okay. If you uh, want to inflict some damage and really uh, get your point across, this is the one to have. Kobe, man, this one's wild, fella. You can fire off a gun and this dog could have started wanting to drag me and run back to the house. I mean, that's, you can get that kind of reaction, you know? So he's, but how he reacted is literally perfect. Exactly how you'd want him to react. I would be concerned with the dog if he was just digging a hole and a gun started firing off and he didn't even look up. That would be concerning, honestly. So the fact that he's aware, he, the gun went off and he got up and he looked at it, didn't move, didn't flinch. That is exactly what we want, exactly what we want. He's great. No, that's, that's 10 for 10. And I mean, he did great in training, great out here. See this dog in three months, man. You don't even believe what you're looking at. So it's been about a month since we last seen Kobe. I think he's come leaps and bounds. So on his quest to becoming the ultimate protection dog, today we're gonna see just how far he's come. Kobe has a very bright future. He could absolutely be the new face of the franchise. The future is absolutely safe with Kobe. Get the ball, I'm not coming down! No! Get the ball! Get the ball!